So, hello fellow coin collectors, this is Glenn, back with some older coins of Swaziland. So if you're not too familiar with Swaziland, it's actually uh, in between South Africa and... Uh, sorry, Mozambique. And uh, it's actually quite a small country, I think the population is only a bit over 1 million. But when these coins were issued, the population would have been much lower, probably less than 500,000. So these are actually all probably pretty much low mint coins. So uh, down the bottom, I have some modern coins. So the 2015 are the only coins that are actually legal tender in the country now. So they all should be dated 2015, as you can see there. Uh, so these coins here were all demonetized in 2016. So after these ones are actually issued. And uh, they actually come in all different shapes and sizes because um, the population at the time had a low literacy rate. So to make coins different shapes is easier to distinguish when you actually can't read what's on it. So the first one we have uh, the one cent. So, oh, I didn't actually say what the currency is. It's actually called the, so, Lilangeni, and it's worth 100 cents. So, that's um, pretty much following roughly the South African currency. Now, these are not the same size as South African coins, although South African Rand is actually legal tender in the country, but you can't spend these in South Africa. So we have the one cent, which is the lowest denomination, first issued 1974, from one cent to one lilangeni. Uh, uh, the two and five were issued in 1995, uh, as uh, inflation actually took its toll on the currency. And the current exchange rate is about 10 lilangeni, equals one Australian dollar. But at the time, 1974, this would have been equal to one Australian dollar. So, one cent, 1974, equal one cent, 1974 Australian. And now, one cent, well, 2020, is equal to 0.1 of a cent in Australia. So, that's the exchange rate. So, the one cent actually had the pineapple, as you can see. Um... This one's 1974, first year of issue, had about 6.2 million. So this would have been enough coinage to actually last quite a while. These are bronze, 2 grams, 18.3 millimetres. Uh, I won't really say the size and the weight of the other coins, because you can find it on the Numista. And then we have the 2 cent, as you can see, square coin. This one has a lead wood uh, tree. And I forgot to say... This one, this one was only issued between 1974 and 83. This is a 79, so only about a million made. But because of the low mintage and the low demand, uh, it doesn't actually uh, it translate into a high price for this coin. You probably, for all these coins, for all this set, you can probably pick them up for about 15 to 20 dollars because they're an older set. Uh, for any of the more modern coins, so the 2015, probably get it for about $10. Uh, and the same with um, the 2009 to 2011 coins, you can get it for about $10, $11 each. So on the obverse, so the obverse has the portrait, this one has Sobhusa the second. so he's the old monarch. An interesting thing about Swaziland is that the Queen's mother has equal power to the actual king so it's like a dual monarch and then we had the five cents 1979 1.68 million minted uh copper nickel this one has a arum lily uh, i think in 1986 I actually issued in nickel plated steel then they went back to copper nickel so as you can see nice odd shape and no, this one's a little bit corroded, but that's nice. And then we have the 10, so they did issue commemorative coins from the 
from the series and all denominations. This is just one of them. An FAO issue, food for all, that's the United Nations. So this is 1975, about one and a half million minted. And it has no sub who's a the second. And then we have one from 2005. And this one has Maswati deferred. So that's father and son. As you can see, they're both copper nickel coins, but this one actually looks a bit more like a, a steel coin. Probably because age has not actually toned the actual coin that much. And the image on the ten cent is actually... Uh, I need to look that up. Uh, it looks like some type of leak. Then we have the 20 cent. This one has an elephant. Uh, 1975, so that's, that has about 1 million minted. Uh, from the mid 80s, they actually didn't really, they didn't issue mintages, except for a very few coins, which I don't have here. So this is, in 1975, it's equal to 20 Australian cents, now it's only equal to 2 cents. So, and this coin is actually quite worn. I actually quite like these Swaziland coins, they're actually very interesting to collect. Um, here is a 1986 coin, this one doesn't have a mintage figure, so we can only guess on what the mintages can be by how many coins that we see on the market. And here we have an earlier portrait of Maswati the third. And as you can go, that's Swaziland in the bottom. Um, and you probably noticed that they actually changed the name of the country because they got sick of it being confused with Switzerland. So it's now called Iswatini. And they've only issued a 10 cent at the moment, but I don't have that coin. Then we have the 50 cent. This is a large coin. It's the same shape as the Australian 50 cent coin, or the New, um, not New Zealand, the Fiji 50 cent coin. Or the old Zambian 15 Nagui coin that was issued before the inflation period. So this one's 2005, I don't have any mintage figures. They were all copper and nickel up until the last coin was minted in 2007. And in 2011 they actually uh, changed the composition. The last coin I have is in the commemorative 5 Emma Langeni. As you can see, the plural for this Bantu language, uh, Eswati, I think that's what they call it. Or, or is it Sesopho? No, I think that's Lesopho, Eswati. Um, so the plural actually starts at the first. So this commemorates 25 years of the Central Bank, 1999. There are no mintage figures for that. And as you can see, it has a hut. has a traditional hut, cattle herding, which is, um, I heard is a status symbol. So the more cattle you have, the more power you'd have. And um, Swazi shields. They're, they're a lot like the Zulu shields, pretty much. But each of these tribes actually have their own different type of pattern and whatever else. And this one has Maswati deferred on it. So he's on all current coins as well. And uh, this coin itself is probably more expensive than the rest. So, as I said, you could probably get the whole lot for about fifteen to twenty dollars. That includes the one and two um, Lelangeni of uh, the older issue. But this coin here, in itself, probably in, in this grade, probably about five dollars. If you want uncirculated, you're probably talking about ten to fifteen dollars. Uh, and these coins by themselves. Like this one's probably only three or four dollars by itself, um, and all these are probably about two to three dollars by themselves. You won't really get any coins for about a dollar because uh, the availability of these coins is pretty limited, but the demand is also not there. So, you know, that translates into a low price but also low availability as well. And here we have 
as I said down the bottom, it's easy only to coin, it's actually legal tender now. Uh, the 2015. And here is the current 50 cent. Has the has the coat of arms, as you can see. And that's actually quite a nice coin, nice series. I need to get the rest. But as there are very few coin sets issued, you really have to get them from circulation. And a lot of them are probably in not really good a condition. So anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. Please ask subscribe to my channel and have an awesome coin collecting time, people. Thank you and bye-bye.